Okay, in the in this series of training videos, I want to go over a couple, uh, I think hopefully life-saving things uh, that pertain to your online business. One of the questions that I get most, I mean, even from people that are more advanced, have had success in their home business, but are trying to get online, is, well, how do I set up a website? And I know that some experts may say, you know, outsource all that stuff, but my thought is kind of counter to that and I'm gonna tell you why it's because I really think if you're going to have an online presence you need to know how to do the basic things like how to get a domain name how to set up that domain name so it hooks up with your hosting how to get hosting and then how to create and put websites up onto your hosting your web space so when people search the net they can find you and I really think that these things are integral and things that you should know so in the next couple trainings, we're going to go over that stuff. Let's start at the beginning. The first thing you need to know is how to get a domain name. So I'm at GoDaddy.com, and that's right up here at the top. You can see uh, GoDaddy. So it's just GoDaddy.com. That's how you get there. And uh, if you want to get a domain name, you just type something in like, ah, oh, there goes one, DaganTheKing.com, and you see if it's available. So you click Go. and it's going to say yes it's available so right now I could buy this domain name maybe I should let's go ahead and do that actually so we're gonna click proceed to checkout and they're always gonna to try to do lots of upsells and stuff like that to you um, if you want to get all the different variations eh, it's up to you and then what you do is you go through the purchasing portion of this and I already have all my stuff set up so I'm just gonna log in here and a, more upsells more good stuff and I'm just gonna click no thanks continue to check out and here we come to the page it's gonna cost me 20 bucks to get this domain name Dagan the King for the next two years so sounds good to me let's go ahead and do that okay so I paused the video real quick while I went through and did the credit card stuff and after you order your domain name at GoDaddy or any domain registry you choose you're gonna to come to a page like this that says you know your order has been confirmed so now comes for the the next part the next thing you need to get is is hosting and you can get hosting right here at GoDaddy uh, and you can check let's check out the hosting plans um, I suggest just going with something pretty inexpensive as you can see here you can get 10 gigabytes of space and 300 gigabytes of transfer which is a pretty good amount for only five dollars a month and so why not so you would just click it and add it and do all that to, to get your domain hosting I'm not gonna go through and do that portion it's pretty self-explanatory but what I do want to do in this initial video is show you how to hook up your hosting to your domain name so if you were to buy your domain name at GoDaddy here uh, we'll go to my domains you'll, you'll create an account just like I have right here okay and here goes that domain we just bought Dagan the King so what we're gonna do is we are going to go to that page by clicking on it and what you need to do to make your domain name point at the right hosting account is you need to change this information right here the name server so the way we do that is we just click on the little icon called name server and in GoDaddy the way you do this if your uh, domain was hosted at GoDaddy you would just say hosted at GoDaddy so you'd click that one but if you bought your hosting somewhere else uh, you would click the custom name server button <clears throat> excuse me and then you'd have to put in a couple pieces of information so I'm going to show you where to get that information now we're gonna go back to my uh, email account here and if you let me scroll down a little you'll get 
uh, an email that looks like this that says here's all the details for your hosting account and this information right here is the name server information so what you do is you copy and paste it into these spaces and there's always at least two so we'll go back and get the other one so if I was going to connect this domain name Dagan the King to this name server um, which I would get an email from my hosting account I would simply put in those two two different uh, pieces of information go over here and click OK now I'm not going to do that I just wanted to show you the process what's going to happen is it's going to take a couple hours but all your your domain name is then going to point to the right hosting account and that's good so now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to put stuff on your domain on your hosting account and have live web pages so let's go through that process in the next training but it's all pretty simple it's just knowing what to do